I'm Kara Green, And I'm Cassidy Joe Fortin. And we're here to help you get your tech on. A one-stop shop for the latest apps, devices, and computer software. Bringing you the newest trends in media and technology. This is Tech On. The end of the semester is looming in and finals are just around the corner. If you hate me right now and what I said just stressed you out, keep watching. Don't let your phone become an excuse to procrastinate. We're going to discuss how your phone can benefit you and your mental health. Not using our phones for an extended period of time is almost impossible nowadays. But if you need to work or study and you can't seem to stay off of Facebook or you check Instagram frequently, you may have a problem. Studies show it takes 23 minutes minimum to refocus on a task each time you go on social media or play a game. Here are a few tips to stay off the apps. The first is reorganizing your phone screen. Keep productive apps you want to start using, like workout apps, books, or brain games, on the first pages. And keep the apps you use the most, like Facebook or Twitter, as far away as possible. If you need something a little more extreme, there are plenty of apps designed to keep you off as long as you need to. The highest recommended are Freedom and Off Time, which have you specify which apps to block and for how long. And if you really have a problem with distraction, you can block the internet completely. If you do have some free time, we recommend these apps to improve cognition. And no, playing games like Candy Crush do not help with that. The first game is called Elevate, a cognitive training app designed to help with communication, memory, and analytic skills. It has the widest platform of skill improvement compared to similar apps like Lumosity. And it was rated best app of the year back in 2014. Studies show people that played the apps three times a week had improved focus, articulation, and confidence. If you have problems managing your stress, anxiety, or even depression, there may actually be some apps that can help. None of these, however, substitute talking one-on-one -on -one with a mental health care professional. If you feel you need to talk to a professional between appointments, the app Talkspace connects you to a licensed therapist anonymously to text them questions and concerns you may have. If you want a more hands-on approach, Optimism is a mood charting app that helps you identify the things that trigger stress and the things that help alleviate anxiety day to day. Other stress management apps include Moodtune, Headspace, and WorryWatch. And now, news from the tech world. The owner of a web hosting company accidentally deleted his entire company with just one line of code, or more like one word of code. The five-digit combination of RMRF is a piece of code that is meant to delete what it is commanded to delete. Unfortunately for Mr. Marsala, he did not realize he was connected to all servers. Not only did the code delete his entire website, but also all of the websites of his 1,500 customers. His backup external drives were also connected, so he lost all of his backup data too. Tough luck, Marco. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching, Titans. Keep off your phones, keep your stress low, and tune in next time for news in the tech world. I'm Cassidy Joe Fortin. And I'm Karis Green. We will see you next time.